Today I'm just going to do a quick video on how to set up a new account without having to log into your Hotmail account. So you want to open up File Explorer and go to Control Panel. If you don't see Control Panel here, you can right click it into space and click on Show All Folders. So open up your Control Panel. Go to User Accounts. Click on Users Accounts again. Now while you're in User Accounts, you want to go to Manage Another Account. Now notice, whenever you see this symbol beside something, that means you're going to have to enter an administrative password. So now while you're here to the bottom left-hand corner of this box, you'll see add a user account. So click on that. And right here, they're going to ask you to enter a email address. Before, they would just have enter the email address, next and cancel. Now if you're running the latest version of Windows, now you'll see sign in without a Microsoft account. If you're running an older version of Windows 10, you would just simply click on cancel and then it'll give you the option to sign in with a local local account. It will now run you through the process of setting up a local account, which is the way it used to be prior to Windows 10. If you sign into Windows PC with the email address, it lets you download apps from the Windows Store. You'll still be able to download apps from the Windows Store even if you don't have an account. When you open up the Windows Store, it'll it'll ask you if you want to sign in. When you first download an app, It'll say sign into your Windows your Windows account, but you don't have to. You can skip that option and download the app anyways. Go to the bottom and select local account. You want to enter your username and password as you as you wish. So just click next, and then click finish, and then you have a new account. And from here you can change. The account type so you want to make sure the account type is standard you don't want to make an administrator i will make a separate video of making an administrator account and why you would want to go that route but from here you can change the name you can change the password and so forth that's it that's how you make a local account without having to create a microsoft account or signing to an existing microsoft account I will be releasing more quick tip videos on Windows 10. So if you'd like to receive updates when I release those videos, just subscribe so you can receive a notification when the video comes out. Like the video if you like it. If you find it helpful, like the video. If not, you know what to do.